Last week, we reported on the state of the news media in Turkey. This week, a look at the kind of coverage Turks are getting in Germany. Fifty years ago last month, large numbers of Turkish guest workers started streaming into what was then West Germany to help with the country's labor shortage. Millions of them remain there today. Many Turkish Germans say they suffer from discrimination, some of which happens on television and in print. That was evident last year when a German politician wrote a book disparaging Turks and the impact that they've had on German society. The author was given loads of exposure on German media outlets and the book became a publishing and political phenomenon. The listening posts Flo Phillips now on stereotyping and discrimination, the German media's depiction of the country's largest minority group. The enorme Fruchtbarkeit der muslimischen Migranten, eine eine der Bedrohung für die kulturelle und der zivilisatorische der Gleichgewicht im alternden Europa da. A year ago, Tilo Sarazin's face was all over German TV screens. You can switch on the television without seeing him in some show. Dr. Tilo Sarazin. Tilo Sarazin. Es ist Tilo Sarazin. The politician had just published Germany is destroying itself. It was a damning attack on the Turkish community. He says that um, Turkish uh, immigrants are dumber than uh, all, all the rest of the society. He claimed in his book that 80% of the Arabic and Turkish people in Berlin are useless. The media couldn't get enough of it and Sarazin's work became the best-selling political book by a German author in a decade. The coverage was everywhere but the tone was the same. The Turks are mostly shown as, as being backward, to have a low ed education level. Some of our tabloids in, in Germany uh, try to make sensational reports about the problems of Turkish Arabic immigrants. Hello. And they like to do that because that seems to sell the newspaper better. And it's a story that's been selling for half a century. Und der hohe Anteil von Gastarbeiterkindern in den Ballungsgebieten. Fast jedes zweite Kind, das heute in Hannover eingeschult wurde, ist ein kleiner Ausländer. Back in October 1961, dozens of Turkish migrants boarded a train in Istanbul for a three-day journey to Munich. And here's a party arriving from Turkey. German post-war industry was booming and the country desperately needed manpower. Germans may not have expected the Turks to settle, but they did. And they've had a rough ride of it in the press ever since, even in the most mainstream of publications. Spiegel has had some covers uh, reporting about Islam and, and Turks in Germany, and they were all black. Like, uh, there was a mosque and uh, the background was completely black or there was a Quran uh, on the front and the background was completely black. Another cover is a picture of the um, Brandenburg Gate, which is really the symbol of Germany, and then the, the whole thing in darkness and then with a half moon, and it said something like Mecca, Germany. Post 9-11, Turkophobia in the German media has grown worse. Mohammed Atta, one of the organizers behind the attacks, had worked out of Hamburg, and people began to blur the distinction between the Egyptian ringleader of 9-11 and the Turkish population. They are seen as alien, as dangerous sometimes, and since the 9-11, the religion of these people become more and more important in the media representation. And it isn't just news coverage that's an issue. Leben diese beiden jungen, attraktiven Frauen völlig aneinander vorbei. Popular fictional programming, where a lot of Germans actually see Turks, tend to reinforce the stereotypes. We have festgestellt that we have found that the media in Germany very often consciously or unconsciously uses certain stereotypes. Generally, you see them in roles as taxi drivers or in kebab shops, always in these lower featured parts. And the Turkish actors always have a Turkish accent or have deliberately incorporated speech disorders or something like that. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. 
Da? Können Sie sich ausweisen? A ausweisen? A aus Deutschland? We have a very popular crime series in Germany called The Tatort, when an episode takes place in an immigrant setting, Turkish or whatever, then you always get the same things that a woman is killed supposedly because of some honor issue within the family and always the people are shown as being backward. Never ever you get someone who speaks proper German, has a proper job and is like anyone else. Sometimes it's hard to judge whether the media fuel prejudice or prejudice fuels the media. Other times it's pretty clear, just as it was when a Turco-German law student was asked to audition for a reality TV show. They said, okay, you could be um, someone who's accused of, um, yeah, maybe robbery. And they said, okay, you could, you could do that and could you please um, have an accent by, um, uh, when, when you're on uh, the show. We tried to interview two of Germany's broadcast regulatory bodies. Neither would talk to us. But two of Germany's biggest commercial networks, ZDF and ARD, had their output studied by an academic who says that one way to alter the message in the German media is to change the makeup of the people that work there. Migrants need to be empowered to make a difference in the coverage of Islam and, and Turks. They need to be empowered uh, to have room for participation within the media system. Since the German state does not play a very great role in, in German media policy, I think there is room and, and a real need for enhanced journalistic self-regulation and a new debate on the ethics of the image of Islam and the Turks in German media. If you just have Germans in the editorial rooms, if you just have Germans in front of the camera or behind the camera, um, then uh, I think that we can't see the real picture. a lot of successful Turks. Nazan Ekes. And I think that the media should really also focus on the, um, on the successful examples. But for Deutsch Turken, which is how German Turks are referred to, this story has been told this way for far too long. And for a country with Germany's relatively recent history, it's no wonder it's an issue. Sometimes you read an article and they're talking about Muslims and you think if you would change the word into Jews, then this would not have been printed, definitely not. This is a country which has a specific history about racism. And so you can't tell someone he's racist uh, easily because that's a really big thing in Germany. And the more we can really openly, democratically talk about these things, the less uh, the reports will be unreal uh, and racist. Negative stereotyping of Turks in Germany has been going on 50 years, but Turkey's recent rise on the global stage is finally mixing things up. Maybe soon, Tilo Saracen will be eating his words.